Shalom. My name is uh, Yoshua Yaakov uh, Ben Avraham, and I'm going to do this again. Shalom. My name is Yoshua Yaakov. Uh, this is being made from Jerusalem. Uh, formerly Michael O'Donnell, an American citizen. Um, I was named after Michael Francis O'Donnell of the RDF, the Royal Dublin Fusiliers, who was a, a great war hero. Uh, died in 1954. My father heard the story uh, of his great courage uh, in World War One, World War Two, and named me after him. Um, okay, um, and uh, I come from uh, uh, also his uh, his mother's brother was the recognized Patsy Sweeney, the recognized welterweight champion of the world. So my father, uh, John. John McCain, you come from uh, regal warriors, uh, uh, military men, uh, and uh, you learned a great deal about honor and respect and dignity and service of country at a young age. So did I. Uh, I didn't understand also, like yourself, until later in life, uh, the meaning. It's only living under house arrest for 22 years in Jerusalem that I understand the courage to fight uh, socialism and communism and to retain my ideals, principle, and courage of democracy. Uh, that said, when I heard the video of your life and your service, it, uh, I couldn't help but uh, brought tears to my eyes. You are what your what your bill to be you are indeed a good man and a good leader but I want to say a few things to you that uh, as a contemporary to you in age and uh, with the particulars being different also in some experience of uh, uh, we won't talk about that um, Yes, the life of a man, the codex of his life. I mean, from the moment he is, gets up in the morning until he puts his head on the pillow at night, um, every day of his life is the same. It's the, it's the test of life. It's a function of his faith and his courage and his values, his ethics, his morality, uh, that define him and, uh, and, and what he does when he faces those tests. The order uh, is uh, man's faith in God. And that, uh, that relationship between man and God, which defines a man's faith, uh, reveals to him the essence of his identity. And from this derives man's relation with himself. Um, and it's only in this context of man's relation with himself that he's capable to overcome the, uh, the exile of men and mankind. Well, that exile and its local reality has collapsed and uh, men and mankind are in denial, yourself included, John, and Hillary, Barack Obama, etc. The probability of your uh, making the ascent of that uh, learning curve and overcoming that, you have the greatest uh, credentials of courage and ethics and leadership by an order of magnitude of the candidates beyond any question of doubt. But your ability to overcome in, uh, is, uh, is less. Uh, what you will become, uh, you already are. You're a very fine man. But you will cling to ground zero of the collapsed local area that was man of mankind's exile. Uh, uh, that is my belief. I support this youngster, um, uh, Barack Obama, because he embodies also uh, character, ethics, courage, integrity. And uh, he has the potential to become and to change and to end the denial of the collapse of the local reality and to ascend and uh, inhabit the quantum reality of man and mankind's redemption and lead not only himself but his family, his community, and his nation. And this is the 
this is the requirement uh, for the next president of the United States uh, who will be the leader of America and one of the leaders of the free world but the leader of the free world will reside in Yerushalayim uh, because the events of men and mankind now shift from Washington to Yerushalayim the uh, collapse of the local reality has been observed and confirmed it began uh, in 1991 it was confirmed in 1992, 1995, 2001, 2004, and so on, 2006. And uh, I won't go and describe all of the events, but I can uh, say this. The reaction of men and mankind to the collapse of the local reality in man and mankind's exile is denial. And for 22 years, my faith has been tested, and that has strengthened my relationship with God and, uh, and myself. Uh, I, too, uh, have been blessed to know who I am and what I am and to be tested in the, uh, the crucible uh, of events and suffering and uh, in many tests. That said, um, this reflects my relationship with my family, my community, my nation, and mankind. The result is uh, my life's work is the, uh, the trilogy Humanomics, which is the post-collapse of the local reality convergence model of East and West. I, too, uh, John, love my country. And I didn't serve. Uh, I'm the youngest of seven. Um, I served God and, uh, and not uh, man. Um, your framework is giving to receive. So was mine most of my life. But only later in life did I understand Kabel Bishfilatet in Hebrew. In English, that's receiving to give. Receiving what? Um, well, the essence of what is receiving who? Receiving the authentic you, not the, uh, not the clipper, not the, that which of mind and emotion and, and psychological manifestation of mind blinds you, but the authentic you. Receiving the real you to give the real you to who? To the real you and to others, the ones you love, your family, community, and nation. That's what I've learned in life, what receiving to give is. That's the central organizing principle of redemption, of the ascent of man, to become from behavioral man, to become cognitive man, to inhabit the quantum reality that is redemption, that is receiving to give. That's the blessing that I wish for you, Kabel Bishfilatet, receiving to give. Uh, and for your wife, for your family, for your community and your nation. I too love America. That's my wish and prayer for America. Will it be? In God's time, of course, uh, and only with God's help. Having said all of this, th I'm also in, the, in Humanomics, the author of its new economic paradigm. That's the, that's the central organizing principle of the next presidency. It will triple and take us from 14 to 42 trillion. So the question is, what do we do to get from f uh, a gross national product, a gross domestic product of 14 trillion to 42 trillion? That's the new economic paradigm as world-class global technologic infrastructure, making America the most competitive economy in the world, leading for the next century. It'll triple the uh, currency value. It will eliminate the uh, national deficit. It will eliminate the social security deficit, eliminate the trade deficit. It's a win-win situation, and um, uh, perhaps I'm wrong, but uh, Barack Obama's potential is to make the ascent to the quantum reality and lead us to the future. And as much as I love you and respect you, and I really truly do, and share much in common with you, just as I'm not the one to lead it, so too you're not the one to lead it. So most respectfully, uh, and certainly, Hillary Rodham Clinton is by no means the one to lead it. Uh, if John McCain were 20 years younger, I would, I would vote for John McCain without a, a moment's hesitation. I love you. I bless you. With all humility and respect. Thank you for listening.